What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my February reset. We have some very cozy vibes going on in here right now. It's actually after work. It's like seven o'clock at night. I literally never filmed this late, but I kind of just wanted to one, get this up for you guys before February starts and two, relax, sit on the couch, reflect about January and just kind of hang out with you guys after work. So that's what we're doing. If you didn't watch my New Year's reset for January, I said I'm gonna try and do these monthly resets every single month for this year, just to really reflect on the year and make sure I stay focused on my goals. Sitting down and looking back at my goals and making new goals really, really helps me to kind of keep my eye on the prize, if you will keep all my goals in order. But if you're new here, hi, I'm Krista, I'm 24, I live in Charlotte, I work from home in corporate healthcare. I like to do a lot of lifestyle type vlogs, work vlogs, just kind of taking you guys through my life. I started my channel right after college, so like 2021-ish, May of 2020 maybe. I've been doing this for a couple years now and I absolutely love it. I'm just hanging out with my ice drink in my wine glass it makes it just a lot more fun to drink when it's in a wine glass i'm just gonna pull my laptop up here and to get started i just kind of want to reflect on the month of january i'm gonna go through my calendar and see what we did i kicked off the new year's in the bahamas if you haven't seen that vlog definitely go check it out it was a lot of fun and my very best friend got engaged on that trip so now I am in the midst of planning her like bachelorette party and I have all that to look forward to this year. I'm so happy for her. It's always a good feeling when your friend ends up with someone that you like love and is good to them. Cause I know we've all had those friends who are with guys that we do not like. We celebrated Will's 26th birthday this month. That was a really fun date night. I had quite a few calls with recruiters for my job search, which I am currently in the middle of. I had a interview for a serving job to get another job to try to make some extra cash. Went to a wedding in Knoxville, which was super fun time. I got to meet Will's friends from college. So it's been a pretty fun month, kind of a lot of travel, but I'm really feeling like I'm back in my place now. I'm not traveling very much throughout the next few months. I think I have like one or two weekend trips here and there, but really planning to stay put. So January was a really fun way to kick off the new year, if you will. So with that reflection done, let's hop in to my January goals. So my very first goal for January was to complete my coding bootcamp. This was kind of like a gimme goal because I knew I was going to complete it. My graduation date was January 11th. I did vlog this whole like process of taking the coding bootcamp, why I decided to do coding bootcamp, all that stuff. I have videos on that, so I can link them in the description if you're interested in kind of that journey, but I did that. And that is like another thing to put on my resume, if you will, like another check on my career box for something that I completed. It was a really difficult six months, but I got it done and I'm proud of myself and it was a learning experience for sure. Next goal was payment on my private loan. I did that. A big part of my year for 2023, as you guys know, is to pay off my private student loan and save some money. I like to save like $10,000. A lot of my channel recently has kind of been about saving money, getting another job, just really working hard and also trying to live like a fun girl in her mid 20s lifestyle. I love going out with my friends, going out to eat, all that stuff, but I also have to prioritize like my future and my savings now. So I've kind of been really, really focused on that. It's only been a month into the year, but I hope to continue this mindset going forward. I would love to do maybe a whole video on like de-influencing, like things I'm not buying and why. Let me know if you guys would want to see a video like that. It would be kind of out of my comfort zone, like a different type of video, but there's a lot of things that I see on like TikTok or whatever and I want them so bad. And then I have to like talk myself out of it. Like, is that something you need? And kind of take you through my thought process of things that I'm choosing not to buy even though I want them per se, or I may want them, but I know I don't need them. 
Let me know if you'd be interested in that. 11K on YouTube. I did not hit that. That was a pretty hefty goal, honestly. I haven't even hit 10K yet. I've been trying to hit 10K for like months now. My growth has been super, super slow. Not complaining. I love my community. I love everyone that is subscribed. So I think I need to be a little bit slower on those goals. I'm not gaining a thousand subscribers a month. So we did not hit that goal but that's okay. 1500 on TikTok. We did hit that. That's exciting. I think I'm sitting at like 16, 1700 right now. So definitely hoping to keep that kind of consistently growing. I think TikTok is a little bit less of a community than YouTube. YouTube feels like I know you, you know me, you know definitely like the ins and outs of my life. TikTok is like quick views, kind of quick spread, but you can have one video go viral and then your other videos get 200 views. So it's not quite like a community, but I recognize the importance of it and I love scrolling on TikTok. So I definitely want to kind of work on my platform there as well. Hot Girl Walks five times a week. I did this. This is something that I definitely wanted to keep up, especially because it's winter, it gets cold. It's kind of easy to isolate yourself and stay inside. It's also a little bit easier for me to do this because I do have my dog, Franklin. So he makes me want to make sure I get out of the house and get him some nice long walks. But for a little bit there, I wasn't getting my walks in five times a week. I was maybe going two or three times a week. So I I'm pretty happy that I was able to get out of the house five times a week, whether it was on my lunch break, a lot of times it was at five o'clock when I logged off work, but I just think it's important to kind of get out of your cave, especially cause you know, I live alone and I do spend a lot of time like with my boyfriend, for example. So I think it's good to have this kind of time to reflect, walk, exercise, kind of on your own. Start a reverse diet. I did do this. I have not finished the reverse diet. I'm kind of on like a pause on it, but I did start it. So I was tracking my macros for like three weeks, trying to get my food intake up and it's definitely higher. So I'm definitely eating more right now, but it's at a little bit of a standstill because I'm just kind of eating intuitively right now. I'm not tracking. I'm just kind of taking a break until February when we're gonna get back on it. Date night with Will. I had a really good date night with Will for his 26th birthday. I wanted to prioritize a date night this month. We, we hang out all the time, you know, pretty much all every weekend. We'll do like little dates, like go out to eat or date night in or whatever, but I really wanted to do like a big fun date night for his birthday. I did vlog it, so it was part of my vlog week, but it was a lot of fun and I love spending time with him. I really cherish that relationship in my life right now. He is just really, really good to me. I'm really, really lucky to have found this amazing man at a bar, literally. Buy yourself no clothes. Okay, I'm gonna check this one off because hear me out. I did not buy myself any clothes until today, which is January 30th. And the only reason I bought clothes today is because I'm starting a new serving job as a waitress and I needed some blue shirts and some certain shoes for the job. So like technically I did buy myself clothes, but there was a reason I kind of needed it. Could I have waited two days and bought them on February 1st? Yes, and then I really would have met this goal, but I wanted them to come in in time for me when I start the job. So I went ahead and ordered them today. If you think I didn't meet that goal, that's fine. Like I see where you're coming from, but we're gonna count it as yes, because I really didn't buy myself any clothes like just for funsies. I needed these clothes for work. Now they are cute and I probably will wear them outside of work, but that was kind of the reason I went shopping. So overall, I'm really, really happy with these goals. I think we killed it. The only thing we didn't hit was that 11K on YouTube, but that's okay. I am growing just at a slow pace, which I am totally fine with. Also, as you guys can see, I'm doing a lot of stuff on Notion these days. Let me know if you want a Notion tour. I, If you want to know how I keep my life together, working four jobs and balancing my life and whatever, if you would like to see that. Let me know. I've really been enjoying Notion. All right, January goals aside, good little reflection on January. Let's pop into our February goals. So first one is career. I have make progress in job search. As you guys know, I've had quite a few calls with recruiters. I am trying to either get a promotion or get a new job this year. So I would like to maybe receive an offer this month or get to a further interview round than I have thus far, 
or even start an interview process with a new company and apply to some new jobs. Just do something to really progress that goal, whether it's apply to 10 more jobs or take more calls, whatever it is, I want to make some kind of progress there. 10K on YouTube, a little bit more realistic of a goal. I'm crossing my fingers. I really, really hope we can meet this one this month. I need about 300 more subscribers to hit 10K. So I've been trying to get 10K for a while now. So I hope that we can hit that milestone. I'll be super, super excited about that. 2K on TikTok. TikTok is a little bit faster growth. So I think I can go from like 1600 to 2000 this month if I'm consistent. I have kind of slacked on TikTok a little bit. So I need to get my consistency back up. But it's so hard because honestly, YouTube is my true love. Like I actually love YouTube. So I'm gonna prioritize YouTube over any of my other social media, but I know you need to be present on all the platforms in order to really grow and kind of be seen everywhere. Gym, four times a week. I kind of kept this up in January, I'll be honest. I went three days a week, most of the weeks, and four days a week is really, really my priority, but I was traveling quite a bit more in January, so I had a little bit busier of a schedule, especially on the weekends. I might not have been able to make it to the gym because I was gone all weekend. So I put it on my goals for this month just to really prioritize getting to the gym. Track food four out of seven days. I'm not dieting. I'm not doing anything crazy this month. I just want to know what is going in my body, make sure I'm specifically hitting my protein intake. So I want to hit 160 grams of protein a day. So, you know, just track my food like Monday through Thursday just to make sure I'm at least hitting those macros like 80% of the time. Buy nothing for Bachelorette. You're probably like, what does that mean? As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, my best friend got engaged. I'm the maid of honor. I'm planning her Bachelorette. And when I got the assignment, the job, I was like balls to the wall. Let's go. I booked the Airbnb. I bought a bunch of like decor and supplies for all the other Bachelorettes and Bachelorettes. What are we called? Brides, brides women, brides, brides girls. I bought a bunch of stuff for everyone going on the trip and they're gonna, they're, you know, we all split it. So everyone's gonna pay me back, but I'm obviously giving them time to pay me back. So I need to chill on buying stuff until I get payment from everyone else. I have a few things I wanna buy still. I still need to buy all the personalized things from Etsy. So personalized bags, cups, I'm gonna do koozies. The Bachelorette is not until May, so I do not need to order these right now. I'll place those orders in March. So my goal for February is to buy nothing for The Bachelorette. It can wait till March, and I just need to kind of put that on the back burner for this month so that I can put my spending elsewhere, which I have some bigger purchases this month that I need. No unnecessary grocery shopping. I am so guilty of this. I am the type to go to Trader Joe's, Aldi, wherever it is, and just want to try everything. Like I went to Trader Joe's the other day just to get my staple groceries, and I came out with a full charcuterie board spread and a bunch of Valentine's Day themed stuff. Just stuff I don't need. Almost every time I go to a grocery store, I walk out with stuff that was not on my list because I'm like, ooh, what is this? Like, this sounds tasty. So my goal this week is to go in with a list and buy nothing off the list. I think that is a really good goal if you're like me. Just try it for a month, see how you can do it, see if you can do it, see how it works out. Because on my Mint to Mobile app, it tells me that I spend a lot more on groceries than I'm currently budgeting for. And I know why that is. It's because I walk in and I buy things that look tasty. So goal this month, no unnecessary grocery shopping. It's kind of like my no clothes rule. We're gonna go grocery shopping this month. Each month we'll try to do like a low spend or a no spend category. So January was clothes, this month is groceries. Put something into high yield savings. That's my savings account that I'm trying to save up 10K in. I'm honestly not that far off, so I definitely think it's possible this year. I don't have an amount, whatever it is, I am going to put that into my high yield savings. I start my serving job this month and I don't have a lot of extra cash this month just from my corporate job and Rover and YouTube. So whatever I get from my serving job is what I'll be able to put in high yield savings. I'm not sure how much I'm gonna make this month from serving, I have no clue what to expect. So I don't have an exact number, whether it's $25, $10 or $400, I wanna put something into that account this month. And lastly for February goals, start my taxes. Cheers to that in our mocktails. 
I hate tax season, especially for someone like me who I don't understand taxes. I just get my W-2s in the mail. I upload them online and then it is what it is, but I always get scared that I'm like doing something wrong and that the government is gonna come for me. I report all my income, like I do what I'm supposed to do, but I don't know, I just don't like them. I get nervous. So I am not looking forward to doing my taxes this year, but if I start taxes, I mean, I'm gonna pick the platform. Sometimes I do TurboTax, sometimes I do H&R Block. I should probably go to an accountant since I have YouTube income. Whatever, pick what I'm gonna do and then give them my forms and just kind of go from there. I don't have to finish taxes this month, but I want to get them started. So that is it for February goals. We have something kind of in every category, career, social media, fitness, finance. I think it's gonna be a really good month. It's definitely a month of grinding. As you can see, minimal spending, gym, tracking food, making progress on social media, progress in the job hunt. I'm just in a grind era. I used to hate when people said era. I literally used to hate it, but here I am saying it. It's my grind era. With that being said, let's pop into our budget for February. I have already done it, so I'm just gonna walk you through it. I did switch my budget to Notion. I'm not sure yet how I feel about it, but we are trying it out this month. This is my first month budgeting with Notion, so we're going to see what we think of it. Before I was doing it in an Excel sheet, which I really did like, but I like to have everything if possible in one place, so that's why we are trying Notion now. Starting with my income, I got a small yearly raise from my job, so I'm making a little bit more there than I was last month. We got like a 4% company-wide raise. I usually make about $200 on YouTube. It's, it's, it's hard to guess, like this past month I made 185, so. Just kind of depends. Rover, I think it's gonna be a pretty big month. I've got a lot of daycares and stuff, so I'm guessing 500. Again, a lot of these are guesses. And server, I have zero because I don't know yet what I am gonna be making. I'm not even sure when I'm starting. I'm assuming sometime this month, but whatever I make in the serving is gonna go straight into my savings slash on my student loan. At least for this month, that's the plan. So we're just gonna put it as zero because that money, like I said, is going straight to student loans and savings, at least for February. So we don't even need to worry about what that number is. Heading right into expenses, rent, water, Wi-Fi, energy bill, all my home bills. They pretty much stay the same, so I do not adjust those. Again, it's dependent on usage. So sometimes my Duke Energy can be lower. Sometimes my water can be way lower. It just kind of depends. So I just rather highball them than lowball them. So highballing car insurance phone bill pet insurance those all stay the same so i just leave them as they are icloud i buy extra storage on my iphone because i have a lot of videos and stuff on there so that's three dollars a month always the same spotify is eleven dollars always the same here we have our debt again we have this private loan here that i have zero because I don't know yet how much I'm gonna put on there, it depends on how much I make serving. If I had like some extra income to budget, I would put it here, but I have a big expense this month, which you guys will see. So I can't budget any extra income right now towards my private loan. Um, investments, I'll put some into my 401k. I'm not putting much in here right now. Again, savings I'll put in there when I make money as the server, as I've said. It's not gonna be the biggest paying off debt and saving month for me. That's okay, we're still making progress, so we're gonna make a little bit of progress this month. Groceries, I'm budgeting 250. I've realized, like I said, from my Mint Mobile app that I'm spending closer to 400 a month on groceries when I've been budgeting 250, but that's because I go in the store and I have a heyday, so we're gonna actually try to stick to 250, which is about 75 bucks a week. Gas is 40, usually lower than this, honestly, but I am traveling to Chapel Hill for a weekend, so I probably will have to fill up. I love my hybrid car, highly suggest EV cars. If I can help it, I will always have a hybrid or an EV. Household supplies, this is like toilet paper, paper towels, dish soap, face wash, whatever, 50 bucks. Doctor and pharmacy, I do have a doctor's appointment this month. My copay is usually around 20, so. I've got 40 in case I get a prescription. I'm going to the dermatologist. Franklin, I'm gonna have to buy him food here in the next few days, so 70 bucks for him. Hair, 400 bucks, my hair is super expensive. I posted a TikTok about getting my hair done and said the price. Everyone had a freaking heart attack in the comments, but you know, I get two rows of hand-tied extensions 
blonde highlights and stuff can be expensive here in the city so my hair is a little bit expensive i'm thinking about getting one row out and just having one row of extensions to save money but i want to see how that looks so we'll see how it looks when i go in to get that done but you know the reason i work so hard and i'm grinding is so i can do what i want to do and my hair is one of those things that i want to do so it is what it is Restaurants and bars, 100 bucks. This is low for me. I'm going to try not to go out to eat very much this month and try to like not go out as much. I've been pretty good about it. I honestly just can't hang like I used to. I literally can't go out like I used to. I get horrible hangovers. I feel like crap. I have anxiety. So it's not like I need to be going out all the time. So we're keeping that number low. Coffee is zero dollars. I'm gonna try not to spend any money on coffee this month. I just had a big Nespresso order, so I can drink my coffee at home. Travel, 100 bucks. Like I said, I'm going to Chapel Hill for a weekend, so that 100 bucks is for, you know, extra money for restaurants, extra money for whatever we wanna do that weekend. Chapel Hill is where I went to college, if you didn't know, and I haven't been back in like a year, year and a half, so I'm really excited to go. And the big expense, the reason I'm not saving as much this month is because I am getting my filler touched up. I have my lips done, if you don't know. I also get Dysport in my forehead. I haven't gotten it in over six months. So I'm way past due. So I'm gonna get some Dysport and my filler touched up. I'm budgeting $750. I don't know how much it will end up being. It depends on how much we do. I don't do a lot. I usually do a half a syringe in my lips for a touch up and like 26 units in my forehead for Dysport. I'm gonna vlog it, so I'll let you guys know exactly what we end up doing, but that's kind of my big expense this month. I wanted to do it and I love it, so it is what it is. We're, we're budgeting, we are still paying off our debts, we're still saving, we're on track to do all the things I wanna do and enjoy life, which I think is the beauty of life. It's like you're on track, but you're having a good time while you're doing it. I feel like I don't have that many favorites because I am in my de-influencing stage of life, so I'm trying not to spend a lot of money. But I do have a few things. First thing is this light that's shining on me. It's like 30 bucks and it's this big. And oh my God, it is so good if you do content creation. Like I used to have those big lights that I would put on either side. And honestly, I think this one is better because you can kind of focus the light better. I'll link that below if you are looking for like a lighting situation. Also, my Camille wine glasses. I got them actually off Facebook Marketplace, but I've been wanting these for so long. They're from Crate and Barrel. And I found them on Facebook Marketplace, a whole set of eight. So I was so excited about that. And then last favor I'll do is a show on Netflix, Pressure Cooker. If you like reality TV, me and Will love reality TV, but we also love cooking shows. Like we, those are like the two categories that we watch religiously. And Netflix dropped a show called Pressure Cooker where it's like the mix of the two. A bunch of chefs live in a house. There's all that drama, but they're also doing cooking competitions. Such a good show. So if you're looking for something fun, kind of lighthearted to watch like with your boyfriend, it's a really, really good one. I actually had a lot of fun sitting down and talking with you guys through what I'm hoping February to look like. I really love taking you guys along on my adulting journey. I just feel like, like I said in my new year reset, I just feel like I'm really kind of holding my own now these days and I just really feel like an adult and I just love having my shit together. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if there's any other segments that you want me to include in these monthly resets. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate every single one of you. I appreciate all the kind comments and I just love talking with you guys. So I will see you so very soon in my next video. Bye guys.